Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will discuss how sustainable really are clothes made out of recycled plastic and if you should really buy these clothes instead of clothes made out of virgin polyester. So in case you don't know, polyester is actually plastic and it has all the same problem of any other plastic products, main one being the fact that it takes hundreds and hundreds of years to be able to decompose because it is a man-made product, so it's not able to break down naturally. Also, we all know that the majority of our plastic is actually ended up in a landfill, especially in ocean landfill, which means that it is incredibly polluting for our environment. Especially regarding clothes, I think that probably one of the main uh, problems is microplastic. So every time we wash our clothes, they release microplastic into the water system that then goes into the oceans. And again, it increases our ocean pollution, but even more importantly, fish eat this microplastic and not only it's extremely dangerous for the fish but it's also dangerous for us because we eat those fish which means that we ingest those microplastic and unfortunately unfortunately being vegan here is not that much of help because uh, again it goes into the water system so we are still introducing microplastic in our bodies through the water and the sea salt we are using every day so to tackle these problems, uh, we see many brands that are starting to reuse plastic in order to create uh, new products. So instead of using a PET or virgin polyester, we are using RPET, which is recycled polyester. And that of course seems to be like the best of both all worlds because we then we still have all our polyester clothes, but they are made of a more sustainable material. But is that so? So. To answer this question, I will divide the video in three parts. The first part, I will quickly explain how polyester is actually recycled and what we can do with recycled polyester. The second part, I will discuss what are the advantages and disadvantages of this material. And then finally, I will explain from a consumer point of view, what should we do? So I will put timestamps, so in case you are interested only in one of these parts, you can go directly to that part. But without further ado, let's get started. So how do we create recycled polyester? There are actually two ways to do that. One is mechanically, which basically means uh, uh, you take uh, the plastic, you wash it, and then you shred it, you recompose it into small chips, and then from them you recreate the fiber. Uh, the problem with that is while doing that, the uh, materials lose their strength. So uh, you can recycle plastic only a limited amount of time using uh, this method because every time plastic loses quality. And the second method is chemically, which is tends a bit more complicated, but uh, uh, synthesizing basically just means that using chemical agents, you are reducing the plastic product into its uh, original polymer. And the great thing of this uh, method is that uh, in this way, you are not losing any quality. So that means that you can create a sort of closed loop and recycle your plastic indefinitely, which is of course what you would like to achieve. So for what we can do with this uh, uh, material, first of all, we can recycle, we can make uh, clothes out of basically any type of PET plastic. So uh, bottles, fishnets, other polyester clothes, etc., etc. So there is a whole range of uh, plastic that can actually be recycled, which is great. And even in terms of uh, what we can do with recycled polyester, we have a whole range of things that we can do. Basically, any other clothes that we make uh, using virgin polyester can also be done using recycled polyester. So to make you some examples, I have here uh, two t-shirts made of uh, recycled uh, polyester. I have, I cannot find them, so I will put the picture here. I have a pair of tights that are made out of plastic, uh, ocean plastic, so basically fishnets and uh, um, post and pre-production nylon waste. So as you can see, really we can do a lot of things. Okay, entering now in the core of our problem, so what are the pros and cons of recycled polyester? I will start with the pros because I like to think positive. And number one is that it does reduce our need for raw materials because of course, instead of having to drill for new oil, we can simply use the plastic that uh, we already have produced and that we already have available. Number two, it does help to reduce the landfill and also the water and air pollution that comes with the landfill because we are saving at least some of the plastic from going directly into our oceans or into the landfill. And third, 
uh, at least theoretically it is possible to create a closed loop which means that uh, we will be able to recycle this plastic indefinitely which again will help us uh, to reduce the landfill even more. Also it does require less energy to be produced so a study from uh, uh, the Swiss Federal Office for Environment found that uh, uh, recycled polyester requires 59% less energy than virgin polyester to be produced and it also reduces of 32% our carbon emission. So that's a significant uh, positive impact. And finally, it has the same quality, more or less, than uh, uh, the virgin material. So in terms of clothes, I think the main advantages are that it's cheap, it dries quick and it doesn't recoil as much as, uh, let's say, linen and cotton. I can't think of any other advantage, to be fair. The problem is that because it has a very similar quality, it also comes with the same problem of the virgin material. So when it comes to ourselves, the main problem is that this is not a breathable material, which we normally think in terms of it does make us sweat more and smell more, but it's way more than just a smelly problem. It can really turn into a health problem because uh, this can create rushes. Uh, also, it can, uh, uh, especially if you use synthetic underwear, it can increase your risk of having infection and fungi because, uh, yeah, I know it's gross, but the problem is that these, we know that fungi love to moist and dark environments and having synthetic underwear definitely increase the darkness and the moist down there. So avoid, at least avoid synthetic underwear, it's my like honest advice. And finally, it is a lot more flammable than for example cotton or other materials, natural materials. And uh, that's really not something we want our clothes to be able to take fire like this. Definitely not, especially if you're a smoker or if you cook a lot. So that's something to take into consideration. The biggest problem for me though is that it does not help our microplastic pollution because being anyway polyester, it does release microplastic in the oceans every single time we are washing it. And because we sweat more, we also need to wash it more. So you see where I'm going? That's definitely a huge, huge cons because microplastic is a humongous problem we have to face. The third big cons is that the, unfortunately, the closed loop is only theoretical at that moment is not feasible yet. And that's for two reasons. First of all, we can actually only recycle the pure material. So only things that are done a hundred percent in polyester because we are not able to separate the different type of plastic because they're too intertwined with each other. So for example, if you remember, uh, this t-shirt has a very small percentage of elastane, but that means that this cannot be recycled anymore. It's the end of its life. Also, uh, there is a problem with how we are actually recycle polyester and if you remember at the beginning I said that there are two ways, a mechanical and a chemical ways. The chemical ways is the only one that actually allows us a closed loop because it brings back the material to its original form and that means that it maintains the quality over and over again. The problem is that uh, this method at the moment is too expensive and too inefficient to be really used on a large scale. So what we are doing instead of using the mechanical method and we have seen that the mechanical method does reduce the quality of the fiber time to time which means that we will arrive at the point in which the products are not recycled anymore which means that yes plastic is theoretically recycled but not recyclable but not indefinitely. So again my t-shirts or my ties that are entirely done in uh, recycled polyester, they can probably be recycled another time, but no more than that. So to conclude, yes, recycled polyester is better than virgin polyester, but is far, far from being a solution for all our problems. So what can we do as a consumer? Should we buy recycled polyester or not? So to answer to these questions, honestly, I would say that generally speaking, if you can go for natural fiber, always go for natural fibers because at the very least, they can break down and they don't release microplastic and they are also better for us. So that would be absolutely my first choice. But there are things that the woods come in polyester or anyway, synthetic materials anyway. For example, tights, swimwear, sportswear, and all these kind of things. So in this situation, I would absolutely go 
for recycled polyester and that's because uh, of course it's way better than the virgin polyester for all the reasons I said before. Also I would say that uh, buying a recycled polyester instead of virgin polyester would have uh, another very important effect that would be we will press the industry to develop a better ways to recycle uh, this material and to get closer to a closed loop where we can recycle plastic indefinitely because we are showing that it is economically valuable for them to develop this technology and to invest in this technology and also again the more we buy this product the recycled products instead of the virgin one the more we are pressing the industry to uh, introduce more and more recycler, recycled in their production instead of the virgin material because we are showing that uh, we prefer the recycled materials so that would be absolutely another benefit at least for those things that would be in polyester anyway and that's it for today thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you liked it and maybe consider subscribing to my channel and until next time bye